Stop hating on Lot's wifey. You sound like a bitch, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Shalom, shalom, family. So listen, why y'all be giving Lot's wife so much grief? When y'all do know we all gonna be in that situation soon ourselves, right? So I was having a conversation the other day with a friend who is wrapped up in this matrix. And she was like, so you, you, you're not going to vote. What you mean you're not going to vote? What about the laws of this land? Woe is me. What do you mean? And I love her so dearly. So, so very, very, very dearly. Like, that's one of my besties. But I know when the day comes, she ain't going nowhere. She, she ain't going nowhere. She gonna stay right here and hold it down for her land that she loves so dearly. She gonna fight to the death for this place. I'm gonna be like, girl, pack your bags. It's time to go. She gonna be like, no, no. And I'm be like, okay, girl. Bye. I love you. Deuces. And, um, yeah, that's that's what a lot of us gonna have to do. And, you know, Lot's wife looked back because she had to leave her daughters. They they stayed with their husbands. That's what it said in the book of Joshua. You know, the apocrypha that the Wrong. Lot's wife fled because she was commanded to leave with her husband because the Lord was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Let's continue. Uh, Y'all yeah, don't like to read? That's, that's what it said. And uh, a lot of us going to be in that situation. We going to have to leave a lot of people that we love behind. So y'all better stop hating on her because we going to be heartbroken for a lot of people that we love that's wrapped up in this place. All right, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, as always, I would love to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakaha Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And as always, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai and Shalom to this uh, beloved brother Manak de Zagba from South Carolina. Okay, so um, this is not going to be a, a long video. This woman don't know what she's talking about. She's talking about stop hitting on Lot's wife. Okay. And just, just, just real quick, this, this, this ain't going to take long. She don't understand that what she's reading in the Bible, she's supposed to learn from that. I'm sorry, my, my phone is slow. You know, I, I, I get angry at this phone sometimes, but patient, you know, got to be patient. Okay. Let me see. Um You know, you see when you women learn about Lot's wife, you're supposed to learn from that. Okay. Bible. Bible, everything that was written, yeah, everything that was written, KJV, okay, beautiful, Romans, uh, so um, let's go to Romans 15, verse 4. 
Okay, Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for what? For our learning. Let me read that again. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So when you read about Lot's wife in the Bible, you sisters are supposed to learn from that. Okay? Clearly, she did not learn anything from Lot's wife in the Bible. You know? No matter, hey, no matter of fact, her ass might actually be Lot's wife in the reincarnation. We don't know. She might actually be Lot's wife in the reincarnation. I mean, come on. Who the fuck defends Lot's wife? What she did was wrong. Point blank, period. There's no justification for her actions. The Lord's angels clearly warned them. <laughs> because when the Lord's angels was speaking to Lot, Lot, he wasn't just speak. They they were not just speaking to Lot. They were speaking. They, they well well they were speaking to Lot, but I'm pretty sure his wife and, and and um Lot's wife and his two daughters were there too. So. I am 100% certain that Lot's wife and his daughters heard exactly what those angels told Lot. Look, the Lord is going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, haste ye to get, get out of this city ASAP. And whatever you do, do not look back. And what could what confirms that Lot's wife and his daughters, as well as Lot, heard exactly what the angel said. His daughters survived. His two daughters survived. So Lot's wife knew what to do. So while they were fleeing from the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, his wife being carnal, you know, and remembering all of the things that was back in Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? Remembering, you know, re re remembering uh, all the things, you know, the, the, the food. She, she was probably thinking about the gold, the silver, you know, the animals. Uh, um, she, she, she probably ha had a beautiful purse there. She had to leave that behind. She, she was probably mad. You know, she was probably thinking about the, the, the lamb, you know, all, all of these so-called goodly things in that city. So what did she do? She decided to stop and look back. Oh, and because of her actions, Moab and Ammon were born out of incest. Now, had she not looked back, Ammon and Moab would not have been born out of incest. Now, would they? Did, they, did you think about that? Ammon and Moab were born out of incest because, because, uh, 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 because she was basically dead. And Lot's wife, wife's two daughters, you know, them being the, the, the uh, idiots that they are. Oh, oh, oh my God. You know, uh, uh, we, 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 we must be the only humans left on the planet. Let us get our dad drunk and have sex with him. Yeah. Now, had Lot's wife been there, their two daughters would not have ha had done what they did. But you see, women do not do not know how to think far ahead into the future. You know, their main focus is on the present. 
what 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 I can do now. Because Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai have deprived her of wisdom. Neither have he imparted to her understanding. Job chapter 39, verse 17. Talking about hating on Lot's wife. This has nothing to do with hating on Lot's wife. It actually has a lot to do with learning from, from, from what Lot's wife did. Learning. She was disobedient. And even to this very day, Lot's wife is a example as as to what happened to those that are disobedient to the word of the Lord. What you thought those angels were were a plane or something? <laughs> hey, don't 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 uh, take us seriously when 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 we say don't look back. And I'm pretty sure, you know, Lot, Lot, Lot was sad. You know, he, he lost his wife. I mean, come on. The Bible won't tell you that. I mean, who, who wouldn't be sad after losing her wife? If I had a wife and she's, she's, she, you know, here it is, you know, I, you know, I, I have two daughters, a son. We, 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 you know, you know, we, we, we used to go to the beach water park. We used to go to Kings Island, Chuck E. Cheese. You know, the uh, uh, um, uh, laser tag, you know, we used to get it in in the bed, doggy style, you know, missionary style, froggy style, uh, whatever, you know. We, we, we used to cook for each other, teach each teach each other new things for years. And then she stopped and looked back. inconsiderate and that just goes to show you that a woman's mind is not on her man it's on the world it's on material things things that she can see with the naked eye and that's why she looked back has she had has she been obedient not only to the two angels but especially her man for the man is the head of the woman, she would have survived. Because let me tell you something about the Heavenly Father. Okay? Let me tell you something about the Heavenly Father. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Let me, let me tell you something about the Heavenly Father. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40, 144. The water Yahweh, the water Yahweh Shai. Uh, okay, let all things be what? Be done decently and in order. The Heavenly Father deals with order. So when you do something out of order against what the Heavenly Father says, well, all you got to do is read 1 Samuel, the 15th chapter. What happened to Saul when, 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 when he was out of order, when he disobeyed the word of the Lord? The Lord basically took the kingdom. The, 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 basically, the, 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 the Lord took, took the kingdom from him. Samuel, you know, Sam, Samuel was like, look, bro. You know, it's already bad enough. I had to walk, you know, 10, 20 miles. My feet hurt. You know, I'm, I'm mad as fuck. Uh, look, well, well, what hast thou done? Has, has thou not obeyed the voice of the Lord? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai clearly told you. Hey, hey, oh, hey, you bet, hey, that the prophets were, 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 were uh, rough men. So you better best believe Samuel, were, 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 Samuel was probably cussing this, this nigga out. Okay. Uh, uh, nigga, look. The Lord clearly told your ass to kill all of the Amalekites. Now look, now look, they're over here, you know, dro dro dropping bombs on people living in tents. L look at this shit. Uh, excuse me. 
Look at this shit. Now, now, now they're over here dro dropping bombs on people, just, just chilling in tents. This is what happens when you don't obey the, the, the voice of the Lord. They'll come around the corner, stealing your heritage, your nationality. And then they'll go around dropping a, 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 a bombing people just chilling in tents. And, and an Israeli airstrike and it an Israeli airstrike on a crowded tent, a crowded tent. This, this could have been refugees, children's babies, mothers, family, parents could have been in there. But here they are dro dropping missiles on them. This is what happens when you don't o obey the voice of the Lord. It's hell on earth. So the Lord clearly told a uh, 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 king. Well, Saul was king at the time. The Lord clear. The Lord clearly commanded Saul to kill all of the Amalekites. But nah, Saul. Uh, uh, but nah, uh, uh, Saul wanted to save Agag, the king of Amalek, and and, and, and um, he was not the only male that was alive. Saul also spared the life of many other male Amalekites. What's the proof of that? Well, Amalek is still here, here in the earth today. <laughs> okay? Because Samuel killed uh, 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 Agag by chopping him in pieces. So there were still other male Amalekites alive. <laughs> so, so when you do things out of order, there's a huge price to pay, especially when you do things out of, outside of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai's order. It's all about order. Do you understand that? Lot's wife was out of order. So when you sisters read the story about Lot's wife in the Bible, that's supposed to, you know, like, oh, shit, you know? You know, uh, you know, basically, you could be punished majorly for, for being out of order. Let's read it again. Let's uh, uh, go. Let's go back over here. Romans chapter 15, verse four. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written. What? For our learning, for our education, which the word educate means to draw out. To bring back to your remembrance. Because we've been on this earth plenty of times before in the past. So you have to be re-educated to know, like, look, if you do this, you're going to be punished for it. If you do that, which is right, you'll be rewarded. So whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So instead of, you know, bump, bumping off at your gums, as the beloved brother Manak de Zagba would say from South Carolina, instead of you bumping off at your goddamn gums, maybe you should take the time to actually learn what lights what lots wife did wrong with that i'm gonna say shalom is on to the next one